Jazz home opener tonight with the defending champ Warriors, and we are bringing out the big guns to cover this game for us. Thanks, Rod. We sure do. And they're going to need all the help they can get tonight. You take more time now. <laughs> you've got a whole hour to impress people. Here, you've got 15 seconds. It better be good. Otherwise, they're turning the channel. Jazz fans haven't been this excited about a season since at least 1997. Well, I want to start by just talking about what the Utah Jazz have meant to you in your life. Growing up a Jazz fan, your favorite memories. Why do the Jazz mean so much? Well, the Jazz, to me, and really to the state of Utah, they're, they're the unifying piece that, that, that we have here. But, but personally, I, I mean, this is the thing that my family gathered around. I mean, my dad, my uncles, my brothers, my sisters, my wife, my kids. Uh, this is the thing that, that, that bonds us all together. I mean, I was the kid. John Stockton's last, uh, last game, I was on the very top row of this arena, the top row. But I had to be there to, to see it, even when we, we couldn't afford it. That's, that's just what we did. And so to have this chance to come cover the team for a day, what, what was it like for you? Well, well, when I first found out, when you guys asked me to do it, I, I, I don't think I stopped smiling for like three weeks. Uh, it was so exciting, and uh, and I just thought, you know, this is this is a dream come true for me. And uh, and then I got here and realized how hard it really is. <laughs> You guys, the problem is you make it look way too easy, and uh, I thought anybody could do it. It's not true. It's not true. Uh, not anybody can do this, and I certainly struggled. Thanks. I hope our bosses heard that. <laughs> For you, what was it like going to shoot around and having a chance to actually ask the players questions? Yeah, well, it's, it, it would be like watching a movie and then have the movie start talking back to you. Like, that never happens. Like, I've been in a room with these people, but they, they never talk back. And so to, to actually be able to ask questions and, and listen to them, that, that was pretty cool. Did you get any insights that you wouldn't get otherwise by going to practices and seeing how it, how it all happened? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, and that's, that's again, why, why you guys do your job. You know, I can, I can read what's happening on Twitter, but being in the room, listening to them as they're answering questions, again, being able to ask things that they may not have thought of and, and just hear their insights and then talking with other reporters and, and all of those people in a room. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty amazing to see what you guys actually do every day. Is there anything about this experience that was surprising that stood out to you? Uh, well, for me, I mean, I spend a lot of time doing interviews like this. I feel very comfortable doing this right now. We could do this all day. Um, but when, you know, when you've got that, that producer in your ear and you're trying to hear what's going on and, and you don't control for your environment, there is so much happening around you. I, I don't, honestly, I don't know how you do it. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this and remember what I was going to say and even reading my notes was, was more difficult than I expected because you're in that moment and it's so intense and you realize, especially live, that, you know, you don't get a chance to edit this out or fix it. And this is the biggest game. I mean, this is the Warriors and the Jazz. What a better opportunity um, as a fan. That's got to be thrilling for you. Well, yeah, it's, it's Warriors, Jazz, and it's the home opener. And you and I talked about this a lot. But really, since, uh, I mean, even the even the Western Conference Finals teams with, with Boozer and, and uh, those guys d didn't have the same feel that this one does. I mean, you really do have to go back to those finals years to for the anticipation, the excitement that's in the air. You know, I, I mean, this offseason felt like it took forever because Jazz fans are so excited. We just wanted to come back and see what we had. Do this again? Uh, I doubt it. Uh, I highly doubt it. I mean, no, I, of course I would do it if asked. I loved it. It was so much fun. But I, I have a tremendous amount of respect for what you do, JD. You're going to stick to your day job? I'm going to stick to my day, day job for now. Uh, you know, I, although, uh, although I, you know, I get a lot of people that wish that I would quit that job too. So we'll see what happens. You never know, right? That's right.